Hello and welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims for a very short tutorial video on synchronizing jobs for American Truck Simulator multiplayer action. So my name is Jerry and I own and operate a very small virtual trucking company called Grizzly Bear Trucking. Uh, you can get more information about Grizzly Bear Trucking by going to our website, grizzlybeartrucking.com. Again, that's grizzlybeartrucking.com. Uh, Grizzly Bear Trucking is a mature uh, group of individuals who enjoy simulating the life of a professional truck driver on the multiplayer server. Uh, we are a serious uh, group of individuals who uh, take um, our gameplay uh, seriously. Uh, we enjoy each other's company. We, in, we hang out on TeamSpeak while we either drive together as groups or even just individuals doing our own jobs across the maps of California and Nevada. So one of the challenges that any, um, anyone has in trying to uh, synchronize your jobs list uh, with that of everyone else in the game or finding uh, more than one job going to a destination city is the fact that by default the jobs list are going to be somewhat different for every player in the game. Well there is a synchronization process that you can go through which essentially everyone that, that performs these tasks will have the exact same job listing uh, when they go into the jobs list in the game. So there are two steps that we need to do to accomplish this. The first one that I'm going to show you here is a one-time setup. You only have to do this one time um, and it will it will um, it'll be good to go for all of your uh, all of your um, game plays after this. So what you want to do is we need to go in and make one small change to the configuration file. Um, your config file is going to be located under uh, your documents uh, folder in American Truck Simulator. This is the same place where you would go and manually install mods or take a look at your screenshots. And it's this config file right here. So if we right click on that and choose edit, it will bring up this, this notepad uh, config file. And we've got various entries here. And we only want to worry about one. And we'll just go ahead and go edit, find, and we will type in G save or G underscore save underscore format. Click find next. It will find this listing for us and it's currently set at zero. What we want to do is for American Truck Simulator, we want to change this to the number two. Again, uh, you set G underscore save underscore format should be two. And we want to close out and click save. And that is the only time that you need to make that change to the config file. Okay, so our next step is going ahead and launching. I'm sorry, that is not our next step. Um, our next step is we need to download a very small application. Uh, this application is going to be available at the following website, and I will post this link in the show notes for you to see atsync.de etc. I'm not going to read it all out. I'll post a link down below. You do need this and there are some uh, re prerequisites for this application and that is the Microsoft.NET Framework. Um, it will automatically install this if you don't have it already. Uh, when I ran this executable it had this uh, this framework already installed because of probably because of prepared 3D or um, Flight Sim or one of my other games. So anyway you want to install it it's going to install a very thin client that needs to run on your machine and after you do this install my recommendation is that each time you, that you want to do multiplayer that you launch this application this application has an icon of two green arrows in a circular format uh, and this launches the small ATS job sync application now one important thing to note is the choose the same gap uh, choose the save game path now this normally is auto detected and it normally populates in. If you're having problems and if you're finding that your job syncs are not um, synchronizing and everyone doesn't have the same job sync, um, check this path to make sure that this is correct. So again this is going back to the same location where we were in just a few minutes ago. Users, Jerry, Documents, American Truck Simulator, Profiles. Make sure that's correct. Um, if it's not, it is possibly going to cause you some problems. So this does need to be running. So we're just going to move it out of the way and put it on one of our other monitors. Now the fun starts. We can go ahead and launch American Truck Simulator as we normally do. And it will start and we will go ahead and log on to the multiplayer server. 
Grizzly Bear Sims uses the United States um, server for that and we click play and it's going to log in. Now note that I have two profiles. This is my, um, uh, the Jerry profile is my single player. This is my career profile. It's the one that I've had uh, from day one of the game. Uh, this is my multiplayer profile here. We want to go ahead and click on continue game and it's going to load up and it's going to bring us to this spot here. When we get to this spot, we want to do a save. Uh, we want to save our profile. Okay, this is very important. We're going to go to save and load, save game, and we're going to click on, uh, we're going to just name this new MP save for YouTube. Okay, doesn't matter what you call it, just call it something that you'll remember. Click on save. You're going to hear that set of tones. Okay. hear the second set of tones. When you hear the second set of tones, click save and load, click load game, go in, load the game save that we just created, which was new multiplayer save for YouTube, click load. And here we are in a rainy Bakersfield, I believe, which is where we left off yesterday. It was raining yesterday and it's still raining today. Listen to those thunderstorms. So now, if we had our buddies with us, we could compare this, but I'm pretty sure that uh, it's all working correctly. If we go back to our job market, click on job market, click on freight market. Uh, we'll click on Bakersfield because that's the closest place. Um, everyone now that does this should have cars to Elko, dynamite to Carson City, and plows to Winnemucca, etc. So when you're searching in the job market or in the freight market, make sure that everyone is sorting by the same category. I sort by price down, so I've got the highest uh, paying jobs uh, for the total price. There's multiple things that you can um, sort by, but everyone does need to be sorting by the same uh, category so that you all see the same thing. So that's it, really. I mean, that's as, about as simple as you can get, and the process works. And by doing this, it allows everyone to have the same job so that uh, depending on um, what you want to do, if you want to do a dispatch type uh, operation where one person uh, has the um, uh, job of looking at the job market and doing dispatch operations and telling drivers where they need to go and what jobs they need to deliver, or if you want to do a convoy where everyone is uh, leaving the same uh, point, uh, say Bakersfield, and you all want to go to Elko, uh, everybody can pick up the same job. So that is it. Um, again, my name is Jerry, and my virtual trucking company is Grizzly Bear Trucking. If you would like to join us, just go to grizzlybeartrucking.com. Again, that's grizzlybeartrucking.com, and you can fill out an application. Again, we are a mature uh, group uh, that enjoy the uh, simulating the life of a, of a professional truck driver on the multiplayer servers as also as well as single player as well. So anyway, thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you on the open road.